The next question. Assalamu alaikum. I am Arbin. My question is, does Iman increase and decrease? Iman can be divided into three types. The first is the belief in your heart, that is faith. The second is the words or sayings of a believer. The third is the actions of a believer. Iman, it does increase and it decreases. And the Sahaba, even their Iman, it increased and it decreased. The Sahaba, they came to our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and they told that, O Prophet of Allah, when we are with you, our Iman, it is at its highest, it is at its peak. But when we are away from you, our Iman, it decreases. So even the Sahaba, their Iman, it increased and it decreased. Now let's talk about the first category of Iman, that is the belief of faith. The more we are in the company of good people, of righteous people, the more our Iman, it will increase. We should be involved in good deeds, in righteous deeds, be in the company of good people. If we do so, inshallah, our Iman, it will increase. The same case was with the Sahaba. When they were in the company of the Prophet, their Iman, it increased. So we should see to it that we are in the company of good people. The second is the sayings and the words of a believer. We should involve in the dhikr, in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, Surah Raad, chapter number 13, verse number 7, Allah bi dhikri Allahi tatmainul qulub. Verily, in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find satisfaction. The more we keep our tongue moist in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more we'll find peace and tranquility in our life. And the more our Iman, it will increase. So we should be involved in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Besides this, we should also read the glorious Quran. And if we do not know Arabic as a language, we should read the translation of the glorious Quran. So inshallah, our Iman, it will increase and there will be less chances that our Iman will decrease. The third is the actions or the deeds of a believer. We should try to do as many good deeds, as many righteous deeds as possible. If we do so, our Iman it will increase and there will be less chances that our Iman it will decrease. Among the righteous deeds that we can do is offer the five daily prayers in Jama for the men, which is very important. Fast in the month of Ramadan, give zakah, there is no better time to give zakat than to give it in the month of Ramadan. Such a great reward. Imagine you giving zakat in this blessed month of Ramadan, wherein the gates of heaven they are open and the gates of hell they are closed. Among the other good deeds and righteous deeds that we can do is perform hajj, stay away from all the things that are haram, do as many sunnah acts as possible, in Ramadan, we can offer the Taraweeh prayer and we should see to it that we offer Witr prayer regularly because after the five daily prayers, the most important prayer, it is the Witr prayer. Besides this, we should also give voluntary sadaqa, voluntary charity. Even smiling at your Muslim brother, it is a charity. So we should involve in good deeds and in righteous deeds and inshallah, our Iman, it will increase. We should try to be in the company of good people, of righteous people. Try to involve in good Islamic activities. For example, doing dawah, involving in Islamic activities, attending Islamic programs, etc. The more you are connected to Islam, the more you are connected to the glorious Quran, the more your Iman, it will increase and there will be less chances that your Iman, it will decrease. And we should see to it that we make our intentions pure. Any act we do, it should be solely for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even when our Iman, it is at its lowest, we should see to it that we do not commit anything that is haram. Even our lowest level of Iman, it should not lead us to commit something that is haram. The Sahaba, their lowest level of Iman was much higher than our highest level of Iman. The Sahaba, they could give their life for the sake of Islam. Their Iman, it was much better. In fact, you cannot compare the Iman of the Sahaba to our Iman. So Iman, it does increase and it does decrease. But the more we are connected to the glorious Quran, the more we are involved in good deeds, in righteous deeds, 
the more we do dhikr, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah our iman, it will be at its highest and it will increase.